Oh, we're getting some sun. Yay! That's beautiful. I gotta tell you, I know Chicago is cold. I was expecting April. I was expecting, you know, maybe 45. to meet with someone from Kraft today to discuss removing these con controversial dyes from mac and cheese products. Standing here just a few feet away from where their executives sit, I can only hope that I've made it easy enough for them to discuss the serious issue with me in person. double standard and we deserve the same safe products that they have in other countries. Um, when I asked to learn more information about the version in the UK, if I could talk to whoever was in charge of that product, she was pretty much unwilling to get me the information. Um, but clearly we've made headway. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> they're listening. In. Right. Clearly, all of the people who asked to call today and called to, to let, tell them to let me in, they listened to. That's excellent. So, the fact that we were in head, craft headquarters, sitting down, you know, and I teleconference Lisa in, and questioning them about their products and showing them the inconsistencies they've already sent us in their own letter. Um, was very um it's worth every bit of this right it's uh, all it's going to take baby steps i think but you yeah. you know each we're going to keep moving push forward so you can find you know 500 million 500 000 signatures and then a million and, signatures or whatever. and that's exactly going. how i left as i said there are 275 so thousand people that signed it in a month Imagine a year, or imagine a couple more months. I said there are so many millions of yeah. Americans that still don't know that they're putting kids, uh, you know, petroleum dyes in their kids' food. They still don't know this, and I'm gonna, we're going to do everything it takes to educate as many people as possible. 